I'm going to demonstrate how to administer albuterol through a nebulizer uh, in line with your CPAP. So we would typically do this for patients who uh, have bronchospasm but they're in severe respiratory distress to where they need to be on CPAP. So first of all, I have my VSI on, I have my gloves and goggles, and our scene is safe. So my albuterol has already been diced, I already put it inside of the container here, we'll set that aside for now. I'm going to set up the CPAP. So this is called the Pomodyne CPAP. This one does not need a separate machine to run, it just simply hooks up to the oxygen and uses the oxygen pressure to create some uh, CPAP effect. So first of all, we're going to extend some of the hosing here, just so we have some room to work. And make sure you have two oxygen tanks. If you don't have two small tanks, you can also use the one inside of the ambulance. So first of all, make sure that you have the correct size mask. These do typically come with uh, three sizes, so make sure you have the correct fit for your patient. Next, we're going to hook this up to the first oxygen tank. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we're going to attach this to the patient. So we're going to clip these on and take these straps and tighten them down. Now check with your patient, make sure that they are able to tolerate this. And right now it's at the lowest setting. So we can turn this knob here. And as we turn it, you can see that it goes down to different levels of pressure. So right now it's at five millimeters of water or centimeters of water. If we turn around once, that's at 7.5 and all the way down is 10. Every time you change it, make sure you check with your patient to make sure that they're comfortable and able to tolerate that amount. If not, you can back it off a little bit. So now we're gonna hook up our nebulizer. So this was already diced, it's ready to go. We're gonna hook up our oxygen tubing and we're gonna hook this up to the CPAP here. So open up this valve at the bottom, attach that securely. And then we're gonna attach this to the secondary tank. And over here, we're gonna turn this up to six to eight liters. Both tanks are on. And now your patient is getting CPAP along with the inline albuterol treatment. I'm just gonna show what happens if you forget to assemble your nebulizer completely before you turn on the oxygen. So we have this full of albuterol. I'm hooking up the oxygen tubing here. And if we turn it on, 